What's up, everybody? Um, glad you can get uh, get back with me today. I have got a package in the mail from Summit uh, Fishing Equipment. For y'all guys that's watched me uh, or watched some of the other videos and stuff, you know that I use a fishing specialties mount uh, for uh, my live scope. Um, you know, you hear a bunch of I don't know if you'd call it bickering or what, but you know, the pole's better than the trolling motor, trolling motor's better than the pole. It's whatever you're used to. If you like the trolling motor, you like the way it's set up, um, use your perspective view, okay? Just watch that cable. I know Garmin uh, has got a system fixed up where you can run that cable. Uh, if you've got a pole mount, use the pole mount. I don't I don't believe in downgrading somebody just because they do something different. It's something you're used to, you like to use it, and if it works for you, use it, okay? But for me, um, especially on windy days when I'm in uh, spot lock, I like having that trolling motor locked down on spot lock and I'm working a piece of structure or whatever <clears throat> and I can basically move this however I need to move it. It's right beside of me so I don't have an issue with it. Now the mount that I've got on here now, this is the bracket that came with the transducer. On Fishing Specialties bottom base, there's a cap that goes on. And the only thing that I've done is I have switched the bracket itself and turned it around like you see here. And I can basically change it. Uh, you know, I can go to perspective view if I needed to. <clears throat> the good thing about it is I can change that angle. Uh, a lot of people have already mentioned this before, so I mean it's beating a dead horse, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Being able to change that angle depending on depth is, it, it's needed. Okay guys, if you're in X amount of water and for a fixed base, there's going to be a certain depth where you're going to notice that you can see good out, um, you, you've got everything lit up. And when I say lit up, picture perspective view or live scope like a flashlight. That beam is gonna start right here at that transducer and it's gonna shoot out, it's gonna get wider at 20 degree angle as it goes out. Well, when you're in a certain depth of water and if you're in perspective mode, if that's the right depth of water for that angle, man, it's gonna look great. Well, what happens if you leave, we're just gonna say 12 foot of water. If you leave 12 foot of water and go to 20 foot of water, I did a video uh, back a while um, in reference and you saw a uh, sunken boat with some fish and stuff on it. That was like 20 foot of water, but I was able to change that angle and cast that beam out. Now when that cone goes out, you have a blind spot at the front of the boat. Your live scope's not messed up. Your perspective view is not messed up. It's just that that cone of light that is coming down to hit what you're looking at right here has not hit the back or hit the bottom. So that's the reason you're getting a dark spot. With this right here, I can change the angle. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about uh, the summit mount. Some of us has ordered some other mounts uh, to include myself. And I guess because of everything going on, they can't get the parts or it's delayed till the middle of May or whatever the case might be. These guys got it in stock. It's ready to go. Um, and as far as that angle goes with the summit mount, you can change it. You can get it fixed up if you're in X amount of water. Now, the reason I like a pole, if this was mounted on my trolling motor, every time I wanted to change over, okay to say um, down view forward view perspective view i've got to pick this trolling motor up out of the water to get that fixed up with the pole mount if i'm on if i'm on spot lock or if i'm running a contour line um, just looking for things i can pick this up and adjust it as needed um, several people uh, jason young uh, check out some of his videos uh, in one of his videos. He was also talking about that, ca that cone angle. Uh, there's a lot of people that preach about, you know, hey, being able to change that angle is the way to go. But hey, enough of the talking like that. Let's see what, uh, what Summers has got fixed up for us. 
<laughs> so when you ordered this, it was pretty good. It was like two days. And it was at my door here in Middle Tennessee. Basically, uh, an invoice and some troubleshooting and quick installation things for you. Uh, okay. Now, something I've noticed just as soon as I took it out, the, um, the mount itself, I've got the clamp on. Um, I actually got a hold of them and said, hey, listen, this is what I'm wanting to do um, as far as mounting it. And they, you can get different sizes for different uh, types of poles and everything. You'll be using the mount, which actually I've already got it on this one right here, to come over top. You'll use the available screws that already came with your unit um, as far as your live scope and go ahead and attach that on there. So, oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna clamp right on. Man, I tell you what, uh, I like how it's it's good and stiff because you know when you're when you're trolling or we used uh, perspective view. Um, we was below Nickajack Dam and we was uh, basically up there. We was fishing for some skipjack. Uh, getting the freezers filled up and that current's pretty strong so that pole i adjusted it to where i wasn't as far in the water but i was still catching current and you could you could actually feel a little bit of movement but this one here i like the way it's fixed up the tension on it you don't really lock it down there you go what you do is you basically fix it to where it'll have tension on it and move it and to lock it in place the way you need it. I like it. I like the way it's fixed up. I mean, it, that looks like a, a good solid piece. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get this mounted. I'm going to take this system off. Um, we'll go ahead and get this one locked in. <clears throat> and then... Um, what I'll do is uh, we'll get out on the water on another vid and we'll see what's going on with that end. But uh, give me a second. Let me throw some screws this thing, get it mounted up, get this one off of here and be right back with you. All right, something I just found out. You're going to use the mount that came with your live scope unit to clamp this down with, but for the fishing specialties, which I called Summit and I asked them specifically, and they said that uh, the adjustable mount and the hardware that I've got would work with it. But, as you can see right here, um, the screw itself is not long enough to go across the, uh, to connect the two pieces together. Now, that kind of irritates me because I specifically got on the phone and I talked to these people. But, uh, no big deal. Uh, what I need to do is go out to the hardware store, get me some stainless steel. Uh, just probably about an inch and a half, two inch. Actually, about an inch and a half will be all I need. But, a little bit longer than expected, but just keep that in mind. See you guys. Back in a few. Um, I could easily deleted that last section um, and just left it out and went ahead and mounted it. But um, other people out there might have the same question. All right, we, are, we make mistakes. But when I talked to you a few seconds ago, I was talking about how the screws didn't match up. Um, Summit told me, yeah, hey, it's going to fit. No big deal. I hit them up on uh, Messenger, which... Guys, if you got a question in reference to any of your Summit gear, uh, you can message them, and I'm talking within a minute. Uh, I had somebody, you know, chatting with me and going over what I was doing. I sent them pictures of what I'd done. Now, this is where I messed up at, and it's me. It's not Summit. The mount that gives you your angle, okay, 
I just simply took it off, laid it on there, and went ahead and put it on and found out that the screws were not long enough to connect into the mount. Thus, I thought I had an issue. But it's not recessed. Now, I went in and in the box in there and I got the other, the back piece, the actual the piece that uh, is the backing that would hold this in place. Uh, they said to go ahead and use it. The screw should be plenty of long enough to do what I got to do. And that's because it's recessed and the screws drop inside. Therefore, I've got it mounted up. Works great. So hey, kudos to those guys and uh, lesson learned on my part. But I hope it helps somebody out that might have a question or if you, you know, in the process of ordering, at least you know. So went ahead, got it mounted up. Uh, my T handle or my handle is on this side. So I've got everything facing this way. I'm able to now adjust whatever angle I want. And I've got that uh, screw tight enough to where I've got tension on it. It's not gonna flop around on me. Um, right now, I like the way it's fixed up. Where I have it mounted now, I wanna keep, and this is for anybody that might have the fishing specialty. I'm gonna keep this in place for right now. And the reason, I don't want this cord contacting just bare metal. I might have to raise it up some, I don't know, but for right now, uh, I can simply lower it down and twist it back in line with my handle that's on this opposite side. So I can still have my forward view. Like I was saying, I mean, right now, I like, I like the way it's set up. It's simple, it's easy. Um, this pole is a whole lot easier being on my right hand side from the seat right there just to pick up and kind of tweak and tune that angle depending on the depths that I'm at. Another thing that I like is I can now take the transducer off of this mount itself while in transport. Now I've got a set of clamps that this uh, unit or the pole clamps down to the boat. Uh, Fishing Specialty has those in stock. But I'll be able to remove this. Just by taking that out. Um, I've got a, a small Pelican case. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole to our, where the cord will fit into it. And I can lay that inside of there, close that pelican case up, and just lay it down. Uh, just added protection. Uh, some of y'all guys might think, ah, oh, man, I ain't got to do that. Well, that's fine, but it gives me peace of mind. I know that that transducer, which is a $1,000 piece of equipment right here. When this goes bad or if you clip it or something like that, that's an expensive oops. So I'll be able to lock it up in some type of a case just so I know it's not getting banged around, clattered around no more than dropping the bolt back in it when I get to the lake. Well guys, hey, uh, for right now, like I showed earlier, that was the mount that I was using. I had it mounted on top of the, uh, or on the base of this fishing specialties, had it mounted on the side. And then if I wanted to use it, I just simply tilted it in and I was able to use perspective view and I was able to change the the way that uh, my angle was. It worked fine. We didn't have anything to do it with yet. Uh, people wasn't making it. Uh, a lot of the guys on uh, live scope addiction, live scope nation stuff, you know, were coming out with different ways. That right there is what pulled me through. And it worked out pretty good. I mean, check out some of the other videos uh, that I've got fixed up with it. This one here, we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything cleaned up. Um, wind's kind of died down. Rain just kind of stopped. And I'm going to try to get out on the water this afternoon and do a second part to this one right here. But thank you guys for, for the ones that subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've got emails and uh, messages just simply because of the 1022 with different questions. Um, got, uh, if you need to get a hold of me, leave a message in the comments. Um, I'll tell you or go over some of the stuff that's helping me out. I'm not an expert by any means, but 
if I've already went through the problem, I had the problem, I found the fix, um, be glad to pass it on to you guys. Thanks, um, if you're not subscribed, uh, really would appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. I've got some more fishing videos and things coming out. Uh, how to's. Uh, we got some, uh, I mean, the bluegill and the red ear are fixing to go on bed up here in Tennessee. So I'm hoping to put this thing to good use. You guys have a good one. And uh, second part of this uh, probably be coming out shortly after this one. Y'all guys have a good one, man. See you.